the stripping, yeah, you need to have one of those. Do you have it in front of you there? I don't which, have it in front okay. of me at the moment. Okay, okay, no. all right. We're going to strip the wires now. Um, this is a handy little tool that I use. It's just to, to your own preference. Um, the power cables. Is that what you're stripping now, the power cables? I'm, I'm, I'm stripping the power cable, correct. So. And then, this is the data cable. You want to take it down maybe two inches. I just switch to this because I find that it's sharper and it's easier to... You got to be careful when you're stripping these too because there's a bare wire in there you don't want to cut. And uh, once we do that, we can get it broke, pull it off. There's a little piece of film in here. Here's the one that you didn't want to cut, so you got to be careful. It's just inside and it's not inside that film. So just make that twisted. Take this coil off. Like so. And this is still the power cable? This is the data cable. Or the now. data cable, I'm sorry. Right, this is the data cable. It's the small gray cable. Just cut that, that, that foil off of there. Okay, and these are really small wires here. So you want to just strip them also. Maybe uh, an eighth to a quarter inch. About that much. Now we have the uh, ground cable. That's a pretty heavy duty cable. Again, about that much. Because we're just going to put a connector on the end here. Stop. Okay, we're going to do this, uh, I call it a telephone cable. It's the flat cable. You need a special tool for this. It actually cuts and it crimps. So these come in the kit with the uh, with the laser system. I just have a bag of my own. They're a center tab, a center tab. Uh, oh, still I'll film it. Okay, all right. A center tab connector, and we're going to put this on the end of this and crimp it. So what I want to do first is just make a clean cut here, cross it. And I'm going to use the side piece on here to, uh, to uh, it, it just cuts through the, through the insulation down to the small little wires inside. So you got to kind of do this a little to make sure it cuts through. And it just makes a small cut on there. You have to bend it both ways until you see those wires inside there and pull that piece off. Now you have those colored wires. Take this ground piece and cut that off. Don't need it. Okay. I like to make these straight and you need them straight when they go into the connector so I cut them again straight. Is that three wires? There's one, two, three, four, five. There's six oh, wires, six wires. There. Okay, I can't see it from you. Okay. okay. And we're going to take this connector and good rule of thumb is if you put the white wire, again I want that straight, if you put the white wire to the, to the right, white wire to your right, my right, and the tab on that down that's how it should go in. Okay, so you slide it in there on the bottom inside that square is the hole that goes all the way through. Put it in there, slide it in. You got to wiggle it a little bit to get it in there and just make sure by looking through this clear 
that they're all the way up to the top because what this tool is going to do now is crimp all of these little pins down onto those wires. Now we put that in up here and we crimp it. Nice and tight, pull it out, and there you go. So the little tab. Tab down, white to the right, tab down. So the tab is pointing towards you as opposed, as opposed to away from you, is that correct? I mean, when you're holding it, doing the... When I'm holding it here, my tab is down, it's, it's on the bottom. It, it's away from you. It's down towards yes. the floor. Yes. Okay. Yes. White wire to your right. And the white wire is to my right. Slide it on. With the tab down, With towards the, the floor. Down. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to feed the cables now over to the Z, the um, Z2 side. We've already fed the cables from the computer room behind Bruce, who's filming right now, up to this section right here, this uh, junction box. And then we fed the cables from this junction box over to Z1. That's already been done. We're now going to feed the cables from the Z2 side up to this junction box. And what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, pushing the fish tape through to Gary on the Z2 side who's going to attach the uh, cables and I'm going to pull them through and out this box. And you're pushing the fish tape through to a con through a conduit? I'm pushing the fish tape through a one inch conduit. So tell me when I should go over to Gary. Right now I'm watch you I'm on start you. Start panning over to Gary. Okay. Gary's now going to grab that fish tape and attach the, uh, the cable to it. Should I pause until you get there? Oh, okay. Gary's got the fish tape. Pulling out the fish tape. It's way to attach the wires. The ground, power, the data wires to the fish tape. And that's done just... Uh, any way you can, any kind of tape. I'm just going to show how you do it. Just using some tape, electrical tape, attaching it through there, and just securely fastening it to the fish tape. Now we're just going to feed it. Bill's going to pull it back.
dependent is the thing that plugs this all together. Okay, you have this piece that also comes in the, in, in the kit. This flat cable plugs in one end, like so, and the pendant plugs in the other end, like so. This is all then at the end of it fed back into the hole where this is pretty much flush with the junction box. Then the pendant is hung on the wall at a level of about here. Here is the holder. Make sure it's level. Use those screws in that bag. And how this works is this slides inside there. Like so. And that's how it'll look when it's done. You want it about eye level. Okay. Now we're going to uh, put the connectors on the end of this, on the end of these cables. I usually leave this thing on this because it's a nice protector. It protects it while you're doing all your other work and you don't step on the end because they're, uh, they're very fragile. Okay, we initially strip these wires, this ground wire. You'll have this kit also with all of these ends in the kit also. Take one of the large ones. ground cable into the end, crimper tool, crimp it down. Make sure it's tight. Power cable, only the ground of the power, okay? We have a red, a black, and a ground. The ground, now this is the power cable, has the red small connector. Take that through. Crimp it down. Make sure it's secure. These will go in, these wires, and all of the data cable wires will go into these connectors. The small connector, this small one, is for the power. And this large one is for the data. Stop. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take everything but this one. What is that? This again is dependent. Okay. We're going to take the ground, the power, and the data and feed them up through the bottom of the, uh, of the laser arm. We'll clean this all up a little bit later by tie wrapping it all together and making it look nice. Once we're in here, stop. Okay, what we're gonna do now that we have these through is this power cable. I'm going to take this connector, and if you can see, there's screws on the top and openings in the side. The connector is big enough to take two power cables. So what we'll do is make sure these are twisted good. 